What's up guys, welcome to your 33rd tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you guys about multi-dimensional arrays. Now people make multi-dimensional arrays whenever they want to do something like make a table in Java or make something where you need coordinates. So again, or not again, for the first time, the syntax for making a multi-dimensional array is your array type, which is int in this case. First array, this is just the name of the array. And instead of just one square bracket, you actually add two. The first one is for the row, and the second one is for the column. So how you create this is this. And this, of course, is a multi-dimension array initializer, and this is the easiest way to create multi-dimensional arrays. So you pretty much have your main array right here, but instead of just filling it with numbers 4, 5, 6, you actually fill them with other curly brackets where you can put something like um, 8, 9, 10, 11, and then anytime you want to go to a new row, just press comma and new curly brackets and put something like 12, 13, 14, 15. So what this would mean right here is you have an array with your first row being 8, 9, 10, 11, and your second row being 12, 13, 14, 15. So whenever um, these you want to call an element in your array, the first row, all of this, the first um, call is 0. So this would be first array 0, 1, first array 0, 2, like this. First array 0, 1. That's what I'm talking about when I say first array 0, 1. And this will point to this. And anytime you want to call something on your second row, it's first array 1, 0, first array 1, 1, first array 1, 2, 1, 3. So that's how you call elements in a multi dimensional array. But what if you said, all right, I want to build a table, but I want it to have different column links. Can I do that? Sure can. So int second array. Let's go ahead and create that. And instead of in your array having all the same row links, what you do is this. Maybe in your first one you would put something like 30, 31, 32, 33. And then in your second row you would have something like 43. And then in your third row you'd have something like um, 4, 5, 6. So what this would do is create a table with three rows. One, two, three. In the first row, the columns would be 30, 31, 32, 33. In the second row, um, it would only have one column, 43. And in the third row down, it would have three columns, four, five, and six. So again, how you would call or use the elements in this array, anytime you want to use this one, the first number you would put is zero, and then put the number of the element. So zero, zero, don't want to move that, zero, 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 one, zero, two, zero, three. This one would only have, you would be able to call one, zero. In this one, you'd be able to call two, zero, two, one, two, two. So that's how you call elements in a multi dimensional array. And actually, in the next tutorial, I'm going to be building a program to output this so you can see visually what I mean in how you create a table with rows and columns and once you see it it's going to make complete sense to you and it's going to be really easy. So that is um, the basics of a multi-dimensional array. Again in the next tutorial I'm going to show you guys visually how to do this so it'll make um, a lot more sense to you. So thank you guys for watching please check out my next tutorial and I will see you then.